Hi, welcome back to my channel Sarf Soaps. My name is Lana and today I'm going to show you how to paint this cabinet step by step. I will teach you how I overcome some problems, who I reach out to and people was willing to help me to give me advice. So let's do this. Before we start painting, we have to clean this cabinet because no matter how clean your piece looking it's always some sort of dust uh, from from the years of using it and um, to paint for it higher very nicely to your uh, piece it needs a very clean surface luckily uh, chalk paint doesn't need um, sanding or anything like that but it just needs to be clean so I removed all the knobs and I'm using this uh, all-purpose uh, heavy-duty cleaner and um, you mix uh, in the water a quarter cup of uh, mixtures to two gallon of uh, water and um, you clean everything and at the end you just have to wipe it back with the clean water I'm using this stripping gel because uh, I like it doesn't have such a strong odor and also consistency of this stripping gel it's very like a pudding like so it's not gonna run down the side so much you know and you have a little bit better control with that I'm just spreading all over and uh, I'm leaving this uh, for about an hour to make it work it through I let it sit for about an hour and you see the top coat is looking like cracked and uh, now I can just scrape it uh, with the spatula. I am gonna need to, to apply a second coat because as you see, some of the um, paint and top coat is still left. So this is its second coat um, I applied and after that it was easy to scrape it off. And uh, you see how gooey is that? <laughs> yeah, for some reason my camera decided to do a slow-mo and right there. You see how it slowed down but it's okay and um, so after removing the uh, stripping gel from the top I wipe it off with this uh, mineral spirits and um, I sand it first with 80 grit then 120 and the last one was um, 220 and now it's ready to apply a uh, new stain for the top to stain the top, I'm using this Minwax gel stain in walnut color. I'm using the spatula to mix uh, in the jar. Don't shake it, I guess it creates the bubbles and it's not uh, good for application, I'm not sure. But I'm using this um, sponge applicator and uh, don't be afraid to apply enough stain so you would have uh, enough product to soak it in. At the end, um, you anyway going to wipe off the excess. So after I'm finishing the application on top, I just take a cloth and uh, wipe it off. Also, I believe this gel stain it's a oil-based product, and the top coat that I'm planning to use is gonna be a water base. So we know oil and water don't mix very well together. I am letting for that purpose the top dry for at least 72 hours before I proceed with uh, my top coat application. While my top is drying, I have time to work at the bottom with the cabinet. Um, I noticed the cabinet had some scratches and I decided to fill in with some wood putty. I just take a little bit on the finger and smudge it in because there wasn't major I was able to apply with uh, just the finger and uh, when this dries I will sand it with the 220 uh, sandpaper and to remove the dust I'm using the tack cloth and now this cabinet is ready for paint makeover I am using Dixie Belle um, mineral chalk paint in uh, driftwood color. 
time or wanted to achieve a smooth application. I don't want to see too many uh, paintbrush strokes. So I'm adding a little bit of water. So just spritz a little bit of water, mix it. You see it creates a little bit of liquidy uh, runny consistency. And the first coat you apply in just any direction, just slap it over. It was my first time uh, working with the Dixie Belle paint. And for my surprise, it was uh, very smooth and only took a two coats to actually cover. Usually when you uh, going with the lighter colors over something dark, sometimes it can take up to three coats to really cover the piece. This is only was two and this was beautiful. I also would like to ask you to help my channel to grow and to do this if you can just subscribe, hit the like button, also uh, hit that bell notification so you can see when is my new video comes and it's going to notify you. For any reason you want to leave me a comment or you have any question, please do so too. After this first application, I'm going to let my piece to dry for about a couple of hours. And I learned this trick so your brush doesn't dry or you don't have to wash it in between uh, your coats. You can just simply put in a Ziploc bag. Just drop it in, close it, and leave it. And it would be good as new. To seal my top, I'm using a uh, Minwax, again, uh, polyacrylic top coat. It's a water-based product, and uh, I'm using in the clear satin. To avoid bubbles, uh, you shouldn't shake. You should just stir well. And um, I'm applying again with the sponge applicator. It's um, looking like it's very milky. Uh, color, but when it dries, it just dries clean. And between coats, um, I'm gonna lightly sand it, and uh, I'm applying uh, two coats for protection, no, three coats for protection, actually. I'm letting to dry for about an hour or so, and when it's um, smooth and not sticky to the top, uh, you see me, I'm using um, 220 uh, grit sandpaper, and I just lightly sand it between each coat and I wipe it off with my tack cloth again to remove off the dust and uh, there you go, it's my second application. And after this dries for a couple of hours, uh, I will sand it lightly again and apply my third coat. Now this is where I start having a problem at the bottom of my cabinet. I noticed some of the uh, areas uh, I had a bleeding through, it's like a pink color. So I reached out to another YouTuber who does beautiful, beautiful uh, refinishing uh, furnitures. And she told me to stop that just to use the Shellac, use a couple of coats, sand it in between, and uh, apply another color. And that's what I did. And I will leave um, her YouTube. Uh, link um, at the bottom below the description so make sure you go guys and check she does a beautiful job and so after applying a couple of coats of shellac and sending in between i apply the second coat of my paint um, and uh, after that dries it was ready for to seal it with some wax 
To protect the chalk paint, I'm using a clear wax. And uh, the, wa the way you apply the wax is you just rub it in. Just imagine like you rub it in lotion in your hands. I heard that somewhere. And um, you just go over. It kind of deepens the color a little bit too. After the clear wax, um, to be a little bit more creative and I guess to give a little bit more charm to this piece, I am using Dixie Belle black wax. And uh, the way you apply the wax is uh, really up to you. It's everybody creativity, the way you see, the way you feel it, you just have to go with that. Don't be afraid. You always can remove it if you feel you put too much you just use a little bit of clear wax on your uh, lint free cloth and you apply it over that's how you can remove some areas you can shade it a little bit you could smooth it a little bit you can blend it more so it is totally up to you so just have fun with that To blend and adjust some colors, I'm using my lint-free uh, cloth and I'm dipping back in the clear wax and I'm going over to remove and blend uh, some areas. It's totally up to you how much to blend, how much to remove it. If you feel you remove it too much, you can always go back and apply a little bit more dark or any other. Uh, color wax you're using and just uh, just play with that
I had so much fun using uh, black wax so I said to myself what else can I do and I decided to use this gilding wax in silver and just add a little bit more pop to some areas Also, remember those uh, knobs I, I removed it at the beginning of the video, so I decided to repurpose them. The only difference, I did paint them in black color, and now I'm, I'm adding the same uh, gilding wax uh, to them, and it's created nice, that silvery kind of look. I had so much fun uh, repainting uh, this uh, kitchen hutch. In uh, next video, I'm gonna show you how I did the top of this cabinet. But make sure you check the description below. I will list all the product that I used today on this project. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification button, leave me some comments ask me some questions and until next time thank you